Comcast TV networks are heading into the fall season with writers and actors still out on strike. The Actors Union SAG AFTRA has Hollywood called writers for a strike, strike marking 100 vote. days after thousands of city workers joined them and actors on the picket lines yesterday. Will Reeve is in Los Angeles with the latest. The show's already being affected and where negotiations. One of the very latest on the Hollywood strike, SAG AFTRA held an online briefing. On 2nd May 2023, Writers Guild of America went on a strike over labor disputes with the Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television Producers AMPTP. This strike is the largest interruption to American film and television production since the COVID-19 pandemic. On July 14th, WGA strike was coincided with SAG after a strike as a part of series of broader Hollywood labor disputes. Writers Guild of America is joint effort of two different American labor unions, the Writers Guild of America East and Writers Guild of America West, representing writers in film, television, radio and online media. It was founded in 1954. SAG-AFTRA was founded on 30th March 2012 following the merger of Screen Actors Guild and American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. SAG-AFTRA represents more than 160,000 media professionals worldwide. It has a diverse membership consisting of actors, announcers, broadcast journalists, dancers, DJs, news writers, news editors, program hosts, recording artists and whatnot. Founded in 1982, Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers AMPTP has been the trade association responsible for negotiating all industry-wide guild and union contracts. The AMPTP is industry's official collective bargaining representative, negotiates 58 industry-wide collective bargaining agreements on behalf of hundreds of motion picture and TV producers. AMPTP member companies include major motion picture studios including Paramount Pictures, Walt Disney Studios, Sony Pictures, Universal Pictures and Warner Brothers, principal broadcast television networks including ABC, CBS, Fox and NBC and streaming services like Netflix, Apple TV Plus and Amazon. There have been multiple disputes between the Writers Guild and TV film productions in the American film industry. The first strike by the WGA took place in 1960. The strike ended up with improved rights and pensions for the screenwriters. Since then, there have been multiple strikes by the WGA like in 1981, 1988 and 2008. Every three years, the WGA negotiates a new contract with the AMPTP. The members of WGA voted overwhelmingly to authorize the strike if they couldn't reach an agreement with the AMPTP. Both parties could not form an agreement. The demands were made to increase funding and job security for writers and limiting the usage of artificial intelligence in the writing process. The union also demanded an 11% general wage increase so that inflation can be dealt with. Multiple demands have been put up by the union and simultaneously they have been rejected by AMPTP. Our priority is to end the strike so that the valued members of the creative community can return to what they do best and end the hardships that so many people and businesses are experiencing in the industry. In another response, AMTP said on strikes, this is union's choice, not ours. In doing so, it has dismissed our offer of historic pay and residual increases, substantially higher caps on pension, healthcare, audition protection, shortened series option period, a groundbreaking AI proposal that protects actors' digital likeness and more. India's Screenwriters Association SWA has expressed support for the Writers Guild of America strike and asked its member to down tools on US films and series. We ask all SWA members working on US shows and films to strengthen their protest by stopping work on those and not to accept any new writing work from the companies in the US affiliated to AMPTP. The SWA said in an email signed by SWA General Secretary Zaman Habib. It is very impossible to predict a date. Both the parties are rigid. There has been no formal communication between the two parties since the last negotiation which broke down on July 13, 2023. Actors Guild National Executive Director Crabtree Ireland says that the strike could last until early months of 2024. The strike Strikes could be long and bitter. I joined WGA and have been through several strikes with them. We made gains in all of them, but some issues are more important than others. This is the most important strike of my lifetime. Several Hollywood productions and promotional tours have been halted due to the strikes. The strikes also prevent actors from participating in promotional campaigns for their films. Shoots of prominent shows such as 1923, American Dad, Big Mouth, Cobra Kai, Daredevil, Family Guy, The Last of Us and many more have been suspended. Movies such as Deadpool 3, Beetlejuice 2, Gladiator 2, Mortal Kombat 2, Venom 3 and other projects have been delayed. Prominent American shows such as Jimmy Kimmel Live, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, Last Show with Stephen Colbert, Saturday Night Live and Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon have been cancelled their upcoming episodes as their writers have refused to show up at work.
The negotiation between the two parties is very significant and important as writers are the heart of entertainment industry. Without them, the creators would have no material to work on. Because of the strikes, many people in the industry have no work. Countless people are suffering, their families are suffering. WG and SAG after are convinced with their demands and they want to make it clear that writers are not willing to stand for unfair treatment. At the very same time, the AMPTP is not very enthusiastic about demands being put up by the unions. This has led to stagnancy. Negotiation have failed and both the parties are not willing to compromise. Hundreds of thousands of people will suffer directly in upcoming months if parties do not negotiate and land to an agreement.